Hey you guys, so today's video is going to be a tutorial on this look that I'm wearing today. I posted a couple pictures of this look to Instagram a few days ago and some of you guys said you wanted a tutorial. So that's what we're gonna do today. This look is definitely inspired by fall time, which is my favorite time of the year. Pretty sure you guys know that by now because I've said that probably in every video that I've uploaded for the past month. So we're doing this orangey glittery eye and the lips to go with it. This is actually a super easy look to do. So if you guys wanna know how to do it, let's do it. And I also wanted to mention a couple things before I get started in the tutorial. First of all, thank you guys so much for all of your input in one of my previous videos that I uploaded not too long ago. I asked if you guys wanted to see more like personal lifestyle videos on this channel and a lot of you guys were so helpful in what you were saying to me, like what you would prefer, what you think I should do. So thank you a lot for your feedback. I really, really appreciate it. And I just wanted to clear it up because a couple of you guys were confused. I'm not going to ever stop doing makeup videos ever. Like that's always going to be like 90% of what I do. But in the future I might just pepper in like some vlogs every now and then. Maybe. So thanks again for your input. I really appreciate it. I love you guys. Also I just wanted to let you guys know that I'm going to be doing a live stream on Rouge Reel tomorrow. It'll be my third one. I've done a couple in the past which has been fun but tomorrow I'm going to be doing a stream about my travel makeup. So what I pack when I travel. I'm going to be gone for almost two weeks, which is a really long time. But I tend to pack pretty light when it comes to makeup. So I thought it'd be fun to show you guys like what I need to pack makeup wise when I go on vacation. So if you want to know more about that, I will have all the information down below. But it's going to be tomorrow. Not sure exactly what time, but like I said, just read the description box for like a link to it and the times and everything. And I hope I'll see you guys there. All right, so let's get into the tutorial. Hope you guys like it. Let's do it. All right, so I am going to do my eyes first, but before I get started on the eyes, I'm going to apply some moisturizer so it has time to kind of settle in before I do my face makeup. And I'm going to use this new moisturizer. I don't know if it's new or if it's just new to me, but I've never seen it before. This is the e.l.f. Daily Hydration Moisturizer. And I'm just going to take a kind of generous amount and just massage this into my face. This actually feels really good. It smells clean too. I know it's the most boring thing in the world, but I get really excited about trying new moisturizers and skincare. I am a grandma. So I always like to start with my brows just because I feel like that helps frame where to stop the crease blending. Don't know if that makes sense, but it's just how I like to do it. This is the NYX Tinted Brow Mascara in the color Chocolate. I like to use this first to just brush it through my brows. My brows are almost as full as I'd like them to be, so using a brow mascara is pretty helpful and quick. And then I like to go in with this brow pomade. It's called a Main Stain by Pony Cosmetics. It's in the color Chestnut. And I'm taking this on my Smith 203 brush and just filling in any bald patches. And this also helps just to add a little bit more structure to my brow as well and fill in the areas that aren't as thick. Okay, so I'm going to move on to the eyes now. I already got started on one of them just to make sure I still got it. For the eyes, I'm primarily going to be using my Kat Von D Monarch palette, which I've had kicking around for a long time. And I've gotten a few requests to use this more, so we're doing that today. And I'm going to take this orange, which is my favorite shade of the entire palette. And I'm taking this actually on my Smith 220 brush, which looks like a flat paintbrush. A lot of people ask how I use this one. I primarily use it under the lower lash line, but I'm going to show you how I use it to apply color to the lid. So I just press the whole side of the brush into the shadow, and then I just press the brush to the lid. This covers a pretty big area at a time, so it's really quick when you're applying eyeshadow to the lid. So that's why I really like using this brush. Shit, I didn't prime this eye. Oh well. So now I'm going to take a little bit of that same eyeshadow on the Smith 230 brush. And I'm just going to use this to tilt my head back, look down, and blend that same eyeshadow into the crease. And I really like using just one shadow for smoky eyes. Like, I don't really feel like you necessarily need, like, four different browns and light browns and blacks to create a smoked out eyeshadow look. I just think it's easy to use the same shadow, the same color, just blow it out a little bit more and it looks good. And then I'm just taking a clean blending brush and I'm just really, 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 really lightly going over that just to diffuse it a little bit so it's not so harsh. So the only other eyeshadow I'm going to be using from this palette is this shimmery dark brown. And I'm just taking this on a Kat Von D brush. It's just a stiff blending brush. So I'm just loading that up, tapping off the excess and applying this right to the outer corner of my lid. And this is just adding a little bit of dimension. 
So now is the fun part. I'm going to add the glitter. I've had this one called Carrot Head by Lit Cosmetics for a while now, and I just hadn't really used it until now. I was looking for the perfect fall colored glitter, and this just caught my eye. It's the perfect orange. It's not super like neon orange. It's got a little bit of copper to it, so it's just the perfect pumpkin-y fall color. And I'm using the Lit Cosmetics Clearly Liquid Glitter Base to apply this glitter. It's the best glitter base ever. It just makes the glitter stick so well. And I don't want this to be a super opaque layer of glitter, I just want it to be like a light dusting. So I'm just taking a tiny amount of the glue, a tiny amount of the glitter, and just really, really lightly patting it onto the lid. Now I'm just going to apply some mascara. This is the Balm What's Your Type. And then I'm going to be wearing these Paradox Lashes by Black Magic Lashes. They're kind of spiky, but they're not super full, so they're not going to cover the glitter that we just put all over the lid. So I really like these for this look. So once I have the lashes on, I just like to go over the lash band with some liquid liner. This is Schwing by The Balm. Okay, moving back to the face. I'm not quite done with the eyes yet. We're going to go into the lower lash line and everything once we're done with all the face makeup. So moving on to foundation, I'm going to use my NYX Stay Matte But Not Flat Foundation, and this is in the color Ivory, the lightest one. Wouldn't you know? I'm trying to reach for things that I haven't used in a while in this video because I just get into the comfort zone of like certain foundations that I really like, like the Kat Von D Locket. I swear I've probably worn that in the last like 20 Instagram photos. So we're switching it up. And I'm going to apply it with this Smith 115 foundation brush. It needs a wash, don't judge me. And I just like to use this to apply it like this. This is a kind of thick foundation, but once you buff it out and go over it with the beauty blender and all that, it looks really good. For some reason I always work in sections when I do my foundation, so I did this section of my face and now I'm going to go over it with the Beauty Blender just to take up any excess foundation. What are you? Get off my face. I did not invite you. And then sometimes I'll take a little bit more on the Beauty Blender and apply it to the areas that are not covered with the first layer. So like there's some redness on my cheeks that usually gets covered with the second layer. I feel like this foundation is really underrated. Like, I think I've said this before, but I feel like I never see anybody wear this in videos or in pictures on Instagram or like any of my friends or anything. <laughs> my three friends, let's be real. But it works really well and I think it looks really, really nice on the skin. It's definitely not matte. It has more of like a luminous, like healthy finish to it. But I like the coverage, really like how it feels on the skin. And the color match is like pretty spot on, which is pretty rare. I usually don't like to use as much foundation on my forehead just because that's not really a problem area for me. So I just apply a little bit and then really, really sheer it out by soaking up the excess with the Beauty Blender. I also really don't like to apply foundation after I do my eyebrows. That's like the one bad thing about applying foundation after eyes for me because I feel like no matter what I do, I always get the foundation in there somehow. All right, good enough. So I have a pretty good layer of foundation on and now I'm gonna go into concealer. This is a concealer that I've really been enjoying lately. I don't use it all the time, but when I have like extra darkness under my eyes, this is the Brightening Peach Correcting Concealer by Brain Fart Pixie Beauty. And I just take a little bit and really lightly blend that out under my eye with my pinky. And I just feel like this helps to correct that dark bluish purple hue that I have right underneath my eye. And then to conceal and highlight the rest of my face, I'm going to use my Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Concealer. This is in the color Fair. I was obsessed with this when I first had it for like the first couple weeks or so. And then, for some reason, I just started to not like it as much. I realized that it oxidizes on my skin quite a bit, which I never noticed in the beginning. But for the sake of using things that I haven't used in a while, I'm using this today. Like when I apply it, it looks fine, but after a while, it just kind of starts to turn a little bit orange and dark, especially if I just wear this alone without foundation, which I've done a couple times. It just completely oxidizes to like such a different skin tone. And then I just like to blend this in with the Beauty Blender. I really want to try the Shape Tape by Tarte, but I have so many concealers that I just like I haven't used up yet and I feel guilty if I buy a new one. I'm going to move on to setting powder now and this is the My Beauty Mark Makeup Academy powder. I got this at IMAT so I'm not sure where you guys can purchase it but I really really like this. So I'm just going to use this and apply it with a sponge right to the area that I applied that concealer underneath my eyes. It's a super super soft powder and it doesn't really feel cakey or anything and it doesn't make my skin feel dry which is nice. Also going to apply a little bit on my chin and my laugh lines and then just a little bit on my forehead. 
All right, so instead of doing like a harsh contour, I'm just gonna do a light bronze. And this is a palette that I just got from e.l.f. And this is the St. Lucia, it's like a blush bronze duo. And I'm gonna take this Marc Jacobs blush brush and go into this guy right here. It looks a little bit shimmery, and I don't really like shimmery bronzer. So, fingers crossed it doesn't look weird. So just applying this to the hollows of my cheeks and kind of blending it upwards towards where I would put the blush to. And then just blending it up towards my temple and forehead. This actually doesn't look too bad. It's a little bit warm, but that's okay. I'm kind of liking it. And then for highlight, I'm going to take this Physician's Formula Translucent Pearl Powder Palette. This isn't my favorite highlighter ever, but it is okay for like drugstore price and stuff. It's just, you got to kind of build it up a little bit if you want like a more intense highlight, but it is pretty subtle, which I like for this look. And I'm just applying this with the Real Techniques Duo Fiber Contour Brush to my cheekbones, blending it up a little bit towards like my temple area. And then I have to go in with my finger when I apply this to my nose, otherwise the brush just doesn't pick it up enough to make it really show up. So I'm just applying a little bit to the bridge and then a little bit to the tip and blending it out. For blush, I guess I might as well use this guy over here that was in that e.l.f. palette. And I'm going to take this on the Real Techniques Multitask Brush and just really lightly apply this to my cheeks. I haven't used this blush yet, but it doesn't look bad. It's pretty natural looking. When you look at it in the pan, it has some gold shimmer in it, but when you apply it, you don't really see too much shimmer. It's just like a nice light pink. Okay, so back to the eyes. I wanted to do a green eyeliner in the waterline because... Let's be honest, I just basically was inspired by pumpkins for this look. So you gotta have a little green in there somewhere. So I'm using the Estee Edit Inside Track Eyeliner Pencil. And this is the color called Twisted Teal. Just running this in my waterline. It's a bit of a darker green, but it does look really cool. So I'm gonna take that same orange and that same Smith 220 brush, and I'm just gonna use this to blend this underneath the lower lash line. So I just take that and run it from the outer corner to the inner corner. And then I take the Smith 230 blending brush that we also used in the crease, and I'm just gonna take whatever's left over on it and use it to blend that out. I like my lower lash lines to be pretty smoky. If you don't, just don't blend it out so far. So I wanted to have a little more fun with glitter placement, so I'm taking that same glitter, once again just applying a super, super light amount of that to the inner half of my lower lash line. So I'm starting not quite in the inner corner, but almost, and then just dragging that out towards the center of my eye. And then I'm just applying some lower lash mascara by Pixi. And the last thing I have to do is just highlight the inner corners of my eyes. I'm going to take a mix of this champagne and this white from the Ofra Cosmetics Beverly Hills Highlighter and just apply this with my finger. So I was rummaging through my lipstick drawer to find the perfect lipstick to wear with this look and I found the perfect one. It matches so well, it's kind of weird. This is the Ofra and Kathleen Lights Liquid Lipstick in the color Miami Fever. I feel like I haven't worn this since like last fall. It's been a while, I kind of forgot I had it, but it's the perfect fall pumpkin-y color. I just, I'm in love. I love it. If you don't want to wear orange on both your eyes and your lips, I think that this would look good with a nude lipstick too, or a brown one. I just went all out though. I love orange, so I'm going to wear it all over my face. Alright you guys, so this is it for the look. I hope you enjoyed this one. I tried to make it as fall appropriate as possible. I'm really excited. Let me know if you're as excited for fall as I am. As always, I'll list everything that I used in this video down in the description box below if you want to shop them or check them out, whatever. And then I do have discount codes too for Lit Cosmetics, which is the glitter, and Ofra, which is the lipstick. I'll have those listed down below as well. Alright guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!